Hey everyone, welcome back to LEGO Update number 50. Today I have a whole bunch of cool stuff to show you, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll start off this first vlog with this um, haul that I got. These are two packages, and I have one more coming in tomorrow, which uh, I'll do another vlog on. Um, so I guess I'll just start showing you. how. Um, I guess this, 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 and this are from Bricks Without Mortar, and the rest is from Bricks for Chris's store. So, great service from both of them, so thank you to them. I'll just kind of show you what I got. Hinges, different kinds of hinges, the other sides of the hinges. These, uh, like, pins on the bottoms of plates, um, pieces, hinges, more hinges, lots of hinges, uh, pins on the tops of plates, and the same thing right there, except just different, uh, pens on the tops of plates. So that's the that's it for the Bricks for Chris order. And this is the Bricks Without Mortar order. I got 26 big dark gray 4x16 wedges and 26 uh, orange um, 4x16 big wedges. Um, 1x2 light gray slopes and flowers flower studs. I actually only needed these two, but I thought that these two were cool, and I need all of these, so yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Okay, so this is the next day, and I got my third and final order in. Um, this is from Rob the Builder, and I guess I'll get into showing you what I got. I got these hinges right here, both sides of this kind of hinge. Uh, one by two cheese graters in dark gray. These, um, I don't know what you call them, but they're like rubbery things from the Assassin Droid speeder. I don't know if they came in something else, though. These, which didn't come in their own baggie, but whatever. Um, I don't know what you call them. You can visualize them, because it's a video. <laughs> and yellow and black headlight bricks. Um, and yeah, so see you guys in the next vlog. Alright, so now I have something pretty interesting that I noticed while I was watching The Clone Wars um, a couple days ago. These are a couple of pictures of the Imperial Assault Carrier from Star Wars Rebels. And, uh, you know, get that picture in your mind and remember it. Now I'm going to show you a couple of pictures. I don't, I don't know if this is in any other episodes, but this is, these are a couple of pictures that I took from the Maul and Death Watch story arc from season five of the Clone Wars. Notice something? Yeah, um, I, I noticed that that particular ship is used in um, the Clone Wars first, and then they put it in Rebels. And as far as I'm as far as I'm aware, the only thing they can the only thing they changed was the um, the engines on the back. They're just kind of placed differently. The wings go back farther on the Rebels one, and then the engines are attached to the wings. And that's the only thing I see. And I also kind of noticed that um, they used the same ship three times as background ships in the Clone Wars also. It's just painted differently three times. There's like a, there's a blue one, and I think it has a Separatist symbol on it, which doesn't actually make any sense. There's a red one, and then there's the Black Sun one, which is uh, yellow and black. And, yeah, so I just thought that that was interesting. I don't know if it's a laziness, or maybe it's just a ship that some planet was producing. You know, like, uh, maybe it's a Corellian ship that was being produced, and people were, and, you know, organizations like the Black Sun or the Empire were still purchasing that ship after, like, 20 years or something, so... Just thought that that was interesting, so yeah, I guess uh, that's the end of this vlog. Okay, welcome to the final vlog. Um, in this this one, I'm just gonna show you my mock, which I haven't really um, revealed to YouTube yet. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have known of this mock, but I haven't really been showing much on there. Um, but yeah, I've been working on this for the past couple weeks, or like I guess two weeks or so. And I think it's reached a point where I want to show it to you guys. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to explain a lot. I'm not going to try and explain myself. You're just going to have to 
trust me that this is going to turn out um, well. Uh, it won't. It won't actually be done till the end of the summer because that's when around. That's around when Bricks by the Bay is. Um, I guess it's actually the end of the summer for me, but not most people. Around August, and that's when I'm getting a lot of the pieces for this through a bulk order. But yeah, I'm just gonna try and explain this and not really. I'm just. I'm, I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you. And yeah, so this would normally be up there, but uh, uh, my table is not level, so I don't like putting it up there because it leans a lot. The tower that is four feet tall when it is when it has that on there, it's very top heavy with that, and I don't like it leaning. But I did set it up on my kitchen counter, and it was completely fine because I'd assume that was level, and. Yeah, so that's good. Let's. I'm just gonna show you. There's gonna be three rings. One right there. One right there. One right there. And they're gonna be connected, and that's gonna help support it. And I've got some plans down here at the bottom to support this thing, make sure it doesn't fall over, and yeah, lots of things. Show you this building. I developed a lot of really cool techniques for this building. It's not done yet, but a lot of really cool techniques to make a freestanding building that's round. Uh, look good and clean. Um, it was really difficult and I can't wait to do a Technique Tuesday on it and I show you how I did a lot of this stuff. But uh, yeah, so got a lot of plans for all the stuff around here. There's not, it's not just going to be a tower. I got tons of other things going and yeah, I got all summer to work on it. Plus other things that I've got planned for this summer. I'm really working hard to get back into the groove of making videos. Ever since my camera was stolen, I've kind of just been out of it. It's not been working. Like, before, it used to just be natural to make videos. It was like, hey, let's make a video. But lately, it's just not been like that. It's just, I, it doesn't even really cross my mind that much. So, yeah, I'm trying to get back into that. And I think I've got some plans to really make that work. So, yeah, I don't think there's really much else to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the hauls. Uh, me just showing you my mock so far. I can't wait to really get more progress done and show you more. My room is an absolute mess because of the work I've been doing on this. Like just pieces everywhere from, you know, trying things and breaking things, all that stuff. Because it's really a pain to organize when you're in the midst of building. So, usually don't do that. And, yeah. I'm going to cut it off here because I think it's been a pretty long update. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't because I've got a ton of stuff coming. And, yeah. See you guys later. Bye.